hello hello welcome back to our youtube channel gift varsity tv uh, this is your host gift pozekana uh, i'm next to this beautiful lady what's your name um nontikele lovetes nontikele lovetes and you um, asavela zibobo asavela zibobo oh wow that's great that's great uh thank you for being our guest in this channel uh tell us more about yourself where are you from um, I'm from the northwest, uh, in Mafeking, Imperial. Um, oh myself. Okay. Uh, All right. I'm BSc in applied maths and maths adverts. I'm doing my third year. Okay. Yeah. You're doing BSc in uh, mathematics and applied mathematics. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm with geniuses here. <laughs> and uh, hello. Um, uh, tell us about yourself. Okay, um, I come from Eastern Cape. Um, I'm, oh, I'm also doing my third year in mathematics, basic mathematics. I'm majoring in mathematics and applied maths. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, they are doing the same thing. Okay, that's great. Uh, what is the name of your high school previously? Um, I went to Botswana High School in Mafeking, <laughs> Komutiwa. <laughs> All right, and you? <laughs> I went to Zuelake. It's in Mtata. Oh, Mtata, Mtata. All right. So, okay, if I may ask, which subject did you do in high school? Um, I did accounting, physics, mathematics, and what else am I forgetting? Life sciences and maths. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, and you? Um, I did mathematics, physical science, life sciences, geography, agriculture, um, um, English, and oh, and this course, and then like, like oh, oh. So now, uh, what made you decide to apply for, for mathematics at best? Is, is it that you were in love with maths, or you, what made you apply for, apply for applied mathematics? Uh, yeah. For your course, let me say that, yeah. Um, initially, I had applied for a PhD in computer science, but it showed me flames. <coughs> coming from where I was coming from, not even being necessarily computer literate or yeah, more. And then in my second year, first year, I was doing PhD in, in computer science. You are required to apply maths and then major in maths as well then have an elective which was i did economics as my elective and then when i did my second year i continued with computer science maths and applied maths and when i came to third year that's when i decided to drop computer science and do math oh and so computer science was giving you a hard time yeah and also i felt like i liked the other two a little bit more than i liked it so I just decided to go with it, to go with the other two. Okay. And your side? Um, uh, why uh, uh, mathematics and applied mathematics? Uh, okay. So for me, like maths was my like my strain or like my strongest subject in high school. And I used to love it, obviously. And then um, when I came to it, oh, I applied for actual science for mathematics and the civil engineering. And then, so when I was actually like checking which one should I choose or select, and then um, obviously because I love maths a lot, and actual science was like having economics, accounting, and I was like, I didn't do that, so I choose maths because obviously I love maths, and also checking the opportunities upon maths because if you're doing maths, you can actually like get to like a many fold. So yeah, that's why. All right, so both of you, I see that. Uh, you were dealing with mathematics. Tell us, which percentage did you get for mathematics in high school? I got 74%. 74? That wasn't that great. Okay, and you? I got 89%. Hey! Hey! 89? Yeah, 89. And you? 74? Yeah, it wasn't that great. Okay, hey! I see that you're in love with mathematics. So, you applied for for this uh, uh, you also applied for computer science or you just uh, applied no, for math straight no i only did because if you're doing mathematics then you have an elective in first year so i chose computer science as an elective 
and then yeah. Oh. So I only did it as an elective in oh. first year and second year. You didn't want to continue with computer science. Yeah. Hey. Guys, if like the one thing, if you're doing maths, you can actually do things like in in computer science, even though you didn't do computer science. Like as long as you have a maths degree, mm. then you can do anything in computer science. Okay. So that was like it's an advantage. All right. So it means like both of you. Yeah, you have some knowledge with regards to computer science, the coding and the what what and the programming. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so you came to VETS, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you got 89 in high school, you got 74. Is there any <laughs> challenges now that you faced uh, as a first year student? Uh, tell us. Um, oh, my first year was, was pretty tough. I, I just felt like uh, maybe I didn't belong, things like that, man. Because there were so many things that I didn't know. Were, like I said, uh, getting into computer science, not necessarily know, knowing how to do basic things with, with the computer, you know. Coming from where I was coming from and, yeah, you know, there were a lot of things that were expected to, you were expected to know and to think that, yo, I didn't even know this, I know that. Sometimes I felt like lecturers were a bit faster because they were catering for people who knew, like, about who understood some other things who were doing in curriculum that I wasn't doing and things like that. It was a bit difficult, but then, you know, when you get used to it, you and then you kind of catch up here and there. I feel like you, you, you add more hours as compared to just a, a student maybe who was doing your IEB or just yeah. like you're forced to do that because but there are also students who did maybe it in high school yeah. so now they are excellent when it comes to, yeah. my experience yeah now uh <laughs> is there any challenge that you faced the, you know you were you were here a distinction in maths right yeah. yeah now that you are you are in university now is there anything that changed or okay tell us yeah yo okay so also when i came here in my first day it was so hard like you know when you you know that okay you just the master in math or something you just everything was easy but when you get here it's like yo the distinction doesn't matter it's like yo and also like the computer science i took it as an elective but then when you get to the lab i remember my first lab yo they they thought like we knew how to code like i didn't know anything about programming so it was so hard and also math yo the one in in high school like grade 12 is like so primary compared to varsity so it was a lot like a lot how did you manage um for me i think the first thing if you if you can like um like because I, I had a group ne, so we are studying all together because it's it's better if you say like you understand something and then maybe someone else understand it better and then as a group you guys can deal with the program uh, with the pro problem i mean so i think the group thing it also helped me a lot because in first year like the first time i was like just studying alone and yo it was bad until i met like my my classmates and then i made a group and then we're studying together and all this so it, it helps me a lot all right and you how did you manage yeah oh i didn't even know people i'm very oh i think that's one of the problems that one of uh, the challenges that I had. I'm not necessarily a social person. I didn't know anyone. Yo, yo, it was hard. It was really hard. I don't want to lie. But then I think second semester, I did try to kind of, you know, know people here and there because I think it helps, you know, to at least not have to spend four hours trying to understand something whereas you would have asked someone and then they would have explained maybe you'd be able to deal with it in like an hour so you saved three hours you can do a bit more when things like that yeah i think i also that's just how i managed kind of asking people asking for help because yeah no you can't you can't work alone um uh, all right so now tell us uh both of you are doing uh, mathematics and applied mathematics uh, in VSA uh, third year. What is all about? Uh, like, uh, what do you do there? Are you solving for X uh, until third year? Tell us more. Maybe a, a grade 12 learner is confused there, grade 11 learner is confused there, and they are passionate with math uh, mathematics. Tell us. Okay, like now, you know, in high school, you are like, when you do math, it's all about numbers and all this thing. But then here, you do like it. it, it it's, it's about proof, um, solving the theorems. Um, so it's it's not really about numbers. It's like about and also like applying it's applied like applying your maths. Like I don't know. I, I don't have to say it for then. Yeah. 
it's like you're using your maths to solve a problem a problem or to maybe um how can i say this like you're just applying that like you're applying it but then you're not saying you have numbers you have to solve for x you have to to solve this thing you'll be given a maybe a, a, a theorem and then you have to prove it about in yeah all right hey, do you want to add more okay, what is all about i think i yeah. think it's it's it's, a, it's much more than just numbers also you have to like analysis your running things and also uh what's more important than proving theorems and things like that it's also being able to um use whatever it is that they teach you to apply that mathematics you know for inters and general and then applied math i think for for it because you have your modules like optimization numerical analysis things like that so it's it's it sounds like it's a lot of meds but yeah i think there's a lot more coding and a lot more um, i don't know application like maybe taking make maybe modeling things like that taking words problems coming up with a myth with a mathematical model and things like that to solve just like i know people like to be like when you when you do maths what are you how are you going to use it why are you doing this things like that that's where you see how how we use maths in you know real in everyday life yeah okay yeah it's, it's all about applying maths <laughs> to to a uh, like uh, real life situation yeah, more you will search it ne? yeah okay what is coding uh, what do you do in coding in mathematics <laughs> now yeah yeah well it is <laughs> i mean i'm it's programming you okay for example uh when it comes to optimization uh when you talk about optimization it's when you are trying to get the best um say like the best decision could i say that the best decision say maybe a company wants to maximize its profit things like that or they want to minimize the expenses and things like that yeah so that's you optimize when you do that you want to get to the best um, decision you can get out of whatever information that you have or the model that you have i guess something of that nature so usually because these problems it's there's um computational like it's a lot of mathematics like it's a lot of numbers and things like that when you program you do a sort of program program to kind of it, it helps you in terms of not having to do tedious work like doing something so many times like first iteration second iteration like with with a program it kind of does that for you okay. i think i i, I don't necessarily all know. right i the mathematics people you will understand <laughs> you understand it better when you do do you want to add, add more uh, no okay so guys uh they're they're watching us the grade 12 look at them there hey. even the students who are doing first year now looking up to you doing third year you know it's not easy to to reach until the, uh, to the, to this point so where can i work guys we want to know what can i do with this math because at the end i want to be employed i want to have money i want to have my house it's, yeah where can i work i hear about this optimization maximization minimization okay tell us okay so um about banks who works at the banks with the mathematicians so like um you can do the quantitative analyst you can do your data science your data analyst your you see you can do a lot of like it's it's about you can work in the financial sectors right? like when you analyze data you create models yeah so you work in the banks plus um they like like banks if you're working at the banks then they have like graduate programs where they actually like it's it's better than internship so so when you get like your degree in mathematics and then you can get to the graduate program like in in the banks and then yeah uh, more more opportunities yeah, yeah um i think another one that people don't uh, maybe being an academic because like uh, our lecturers are phd holders they're mathematicians they're you know applied mathematicians as well they do research those kind of things those things um, have quite big opportunities uh, it's not I know people look at uh, being a lecturer and you know as of you know it's something but it's actually quite a big deal you know um, and they what 
I'm saying they get money. Yeah, that's all right, all right. Yeah. And money, okay. I heard the word money, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's actually okay. quite addictive. You can also, okay, go with academia. Ne? Yeah. yeah, you're becoming a professor, you come and yeah. teach at VETS or any other institution as well. Uh, you advance your education, you come and train more yeah. more applied yeah. mathematics. Yeah. Stop the vibes. Yeah. Even if you're doing math, you can also go to engineering, you can get to computer science fields. So, yeah. as long as you did maths, like there are a lot of opportunities. Guys, more opportunities, it's your own assignment to do. go and do a research and ask people who are already in the uh, field there. They will uh, explore to you uh, many opportunities that are available with your mathematics and applied math degree. Guys, any last words to the grade 12 learner, to to a student who's doing first year, what can you say to them? It's very, it's important to make sure that you're informed yet, Clash. I went like on, on, on time before it gets a bit too late. Because you get here and you realize, but there's so much more in terms of careers, in terms of what you can do. There's so much more than just your typical law, your um, maybe scientist, whatever. There's so many things. So make sure that you are informed, you do your research, and make sure that as bad as you might think that you maybe your grade 11 marks are get in take those opportunities apply and things like that because you don't you you find that people after they pass their matric they realize that they have good marks but then they didn't apply to places that they would have wanted to go to because they were so insecure about their grade 11 marks so make sure that you do that because you have nothing to lose at the end of the day. If they reject you, that, that's fine. But then, what if they do take you, Yamo? So, yeah, just generally make sure that you are informed. You don't just do things. You don't just choose things in terms of um, what's the most paying job, whatever, things like that. Because when you get here, hey, it's going to be very hard to, you know, keep on going forward when, when things get tough. And you don't necessarily have good reason to be doing what you're doing you know all right that's 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 great that's great indeed uh on your side oh to add for the grade 12 yeah, um okay i would say for for the grade 12s if you want to choose like let's say you, you're looking for a career don't go to like the tradition maybe they're saying like medicine do yeah, well, engineering research more know your strength like let's say if you love maths they are mathematics and then don't do things just because it's popular or something and also do research because like and also okay to first years um to first year um just because in, in high school you were like the top learner or something but then learn to ask for help when you need help because you won't survive like here in university if you don't look for help if you don't ask help if you don't help others so it's you can't be alone and you won't survive like you won't all right is there anything you want to add to first no. years before you close? Thank you guys for your time indeed. Uh, let's hope uh, that you will become the best professionals ever uh, in our country and solve those problems that we are facing. Uh, let's hope you learned a lot today with regards to um, BSc in mathematics and uh, applied mathematics. Do your research, be informed. Be sure that the decision that you take, you won't regret at the end. Don't be too excited when you get those results. Make sure that you do informed decision. Gift Pozekana here. I was with Asavela Zbobo. And thank you so much. Uh, all the best with your metric. All the best first years with your first year. Thank you so much for watching. Share, comment down below and like. Thank you.